In this video, I want to show you how some common household objects can cause interference with communications including cellular communications and even Bluetooth and wireless LAN. Radio interference can be caused by a number of common household objects. An interference can be really annoying in the domestic environment. It can slow down data streaming, it can cause pixelation on videos and movies, and it can interrupt games or even cause pops and crackles on audio streams. Let's have a look at some real world examples of products that can cause interference. The first example I want to highlight is interference from a standard microwave oven. Microwave ovens use a relatively high power magnetron to excite the water molecules in the food and the magnetron works in the same frequency band as Bluetooth and wireless LAN technologies, but it's around about 700 watts transmit power. So on the screen here, we're looking in on the real-time spectrum analyzer at the ISM band spectrum, and we can see the Bluetooth and wireless LAN signals in this room at home. So we can see wireless LAN and Bluetooth probably from my mobile phone. If I turn on the microwave oven, we can see that the radiation, RF radiation from the microwave oven is completely drowning out the Bluetooth and wireless LAN signals. So if I was watching a video on my phone, it would be very difficult to get the data through and to have a smooth watching experience. I'll turn the microwave oven off and then you can see we recover back to our ability to see the Bluetooth and wireless LAN signals on the RTSA. So I just want to illustrate the uh, cause of interference from some domestic household appliances. We'll start off with a standard uh, electric power drill. Here we're looking at a real-time spectrum analysis view of the LTE spectrum going from 730 megahertz to 830 megahertz and we can clearly see the LTE carriers in this zone here. If I turn on the power drill you can clearly see that interference from the motor in the power drill is in fact giving RF energy that's higher in level than the LTE signals uh, in this area itself and those are captured on the spectrogram so if I just repeat that process we can see that using the spectrogram to capture the history of the power drill interference. So following on from the power drill I've got another appliance here a standard domestic hairdryer and again if I turn on the hairdryer although not quite so noisy as the uh, the power drill even the hairdryer motor radiates enough RF energy to uh, blank out the, the LTE carriers. So the final appliance I want to demonstrate interference from is quite surprising. It's a standard desktop uh, fluorescent light. And if I switch on the light, you can see that we get an instantaneous burst of energy that interfere, would interfere with the signal. So this is not a continuous interferer. It's a, a, a one-off or spontaneous interference that happens at the switching on uh, time of the, the light. But that would cause interference with uh, other electrical signals in the area. These examples have shown how common domestic products can cause interference in the home or even the small office environment, both from the microwave, which completely wipes out the ISM band, through to clicks and crackles that might be generated by turning on the fluorescent light. The real-time spectrum analyzer is an invaluable tool for identifying sources of interference and it's also a great tool for helping you mitigate and eliminate interference from products you're designing. I hope you found that video interesting. Thank you for watching.